Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is Bhupesh. Thanks for tuning in. So today we'll be talking another important video into the same Grafana playlist. We'll be talking about how to install Postgres database into your Kubernetes cluster and how to monitor the same using Prometheus uh, exporter, uh, the Prometheus community exporter. So if you're not like and subscribe to the channel, please do that because you're doing a lot of fancy and technical, you know, technical videos onto the Grafana and Kubernetes space. So please do like and subscribe from here. Okay, so let's quickly jump onto the, the agenda. So we have done all the 11 videos in the same playlist. If you want to, you, you can quickly go through the same playlist for your reference, starting with the Grafana setup, doing the Jira integration, and then doing log for logging, tempo for tracing, and finally doing certain uh, integration with AWS Cognito, doing certain black box testing uh, integration, and then finally doing the My, MySQL DB installation monitoring. So today we'll be doing it uh, Postgres SQL uh, uh, DB installation uh, first step and then integrating with Grafana and finally monitoring the same DB with the help of export of provided by Prometheus community. So let's jump on to the practical aspect of it without wasting any further time. So I've created a you know, GitHub page also for this. So let me just quickly open that GitHub page for you. This is Captain Will have it sometime later. Postgres. This is the GitHub page I'm talking about. Yeah, this one. So we'll be following the same documentation today. So I've already cloned it to my local uh, laptop, and this is already presented in the description section, section of this video. So first is definitely installing uh, Grafana. If it is not installed, so let me check whether I have uh, Grafana installed on my system. Yeah, it is not. So let me install uh, Grafana quickly. This is a popular Q Prometheus tag. I'm just installing with the help of Helm. With this release name called as Grafana. So I'll just simply run this. I'm installing into this metrics namespace. So once this is installed, next step is now these are these two are you know, independent steps. Next step is installing the Postgres database. Now this is an open source uh data source that you can use it for your any kind of application. So we'll be using a Helm chart, a bitmami Helm chart to install this Postgres SQL, and then we'll see how we can upload the dummy data into it. So Grafana is already installed now. I'll see the Grafana ports are coming up. That's okay. So I already have this uh, release, first release installed for Postgres. I'll do it again just for understanding purpose. I'll just add this uh, Bitnami repo to my repository. Okay, Bitnami is added and then I'll install this Postgres SQL dev if it is not installed since it is all installed i'm doing an upgrade okay perfect so this will install or upgrade your help the second version is there release version the db is already up and running now i'll go to be go back to my uh, documentation now to connecting to this postgres database we need to get the secret so secret secret so this is a secret that created when you install your helm chart so i'll just get the secret and then uh, this is the quoted value and i'll do an encoded link all these things are uh, properly documented in my documentation so this is my encoded password which for which i can log in i'll copy this thing into a you know notepad i think it's the same password right all these steps uh, mentioned here so for now you know this is my password now uh, this is the uh, oh username is definitely the postgres and the database is postgres so we will create a uh, another database within the Postgres, and then we'll you know load the dummy data of Hello World. So let's quickly get into the database, or you can you know enter inside the container. So kgp kubectl get pod kubectl. I'll get inside this Postgres pod container basically, and then I'll try to bring up data source. Copy. Then, 
okay i've successfully logged into this uh, database using postgres as user id database is postgres in the password is this one now good so i'm already inside it i'll just create another another database basically so another data source has been created now i'll do a slash tt there are no tables in this okay so let me come out of it and then we'll log in again with the data source as a login so fine exit fine now i'll again log into this but with this time i'll do with the help of uh, test db okay the db which i just created so this is my database fine and password i've already done it i'll just run this piece again okay now i'm connected to this test db see now we'll create a dummy table okay create table okay fine and paste it somewhere yeah i can paste it from here okay table has been created now we will insert some dummy data in this table so we can see the table details in this database like this yeah we have one table which recently we got created and then i'll insert a dummy table dummy data basically one record to this table semicolon now what code has been inserted now i'll just see select star from table i can see one record has been created good that is what is my intention is first of all create a database uh, create one more table the data structure and then upload one single record that's it so my database is ready i have one sample table also let me come out of this container now and then we'll do the integration with grafana right okay fine so i'm out of the container now now i'll see the services so i have grafana already up and running fine so i'll just do a port forward of grafana so that we can visualize things now okay. so grafana is already there i'll just come here if you not watch the Grafana video, you can check it later. Okay. So Grafana is up and running. So now what we'll do, we'll just simply add uh, this uh, Postgres database as a, net, uh, as, a, as, a, as a data source in this. But before adding it, we need to expose this service from cluster IP to load balancer so that it can be accessed by this Grafana. I'll open another uh, you know window key get as we see so this is my uh, service of uh, folder i'll do kubectl edit service of postgres i'll change it from cluster ip to load balancer if you don't know how to, i mean what is the difference between this you can watch my kubernetes related videos on services you then then you'll understand balancer Fine, okay, get SVC. Now you can see external IP has been created for this. Now, what I'll do, I'll use this external IP and this port number to add it to the, uh, to add it to the, you know, Grafana. I'll just copy this and then I'll come on to the data source connection, add new Postgres SQL and then. Uh, yeah and then 5432 this is the host name the data is i created post press is my user i hope i'm right yes and this is my password correct okay. post press okay i need to disable this piece disable perfect yeah and database connection okay see good so we have the data conveys connection perfectly fine i'll just simply select this postgres sql i'll i've already connected to that test db hello world is my table which i created it run the query i can get that latest record so now my second piece is done integration of postgres with grafana is done 
integration is nothing you need to just have it come here and then add that data source which is already running separately as a separate thread but you need to add it as a just a service right uh, as, as a data source you can see this is an external ip which is there this is an external ip i'm just adding that external ip so we have done the marriage of postgres and uh, grafana into our integration step perfect now we need to monitor this database which is actually the third and the important step we need to install uh, you know prometheus postgres exporter now what is this exporter so you can actually uh, uh, get more uh, read more about this prometheus postgres exporter there's a there's a committee which is handling the helm charts also for this so we'll quickly run this helm chart so that the metrics are exposed to you know grafana and can be catched now before i run this command this is the helm upgrade install this helm chart okay from here but i'm passing some values also values.yaml file so you can see these are the values which i'm giving in my documentation also so what i'm saying the configuration my postgres db so data source the host ip that is i think has been changed so let me capture the host ip 21002 yes 2102 and now postgres is fine password is i need to make it password like this so this is the host name username and the password that is important thing there so that uh, the grafana can connect or the postgres exporter can connect to the uh, database to bring the matrices and then service monitor true now this is very important we need to make create a service monitor so that the cube prometheus custom resource operator can actually read it with the elbow service monitor with these labels labels are very very important because these are the labels which are responsible for catching the service via that you know service monitor so these two configurations are important to pass into your helm chart before you install it so yes you need to just copy paste this piece and run it from this github location okay so i'm already into that i'll just come here do helm upgrade install it will install it so let's do the checking and let me check do the checking here so we have helm chart installed for this it is successfully deployed yes let me see the port pod is successfully running for 14 seconds let me see the service monitor whether that is there or not because service monitor is the one which is responsible for sending the metrics from here to to grafana yes service monitor is also up perfect let me see the service monitor details okay my bad so i need to pick this postgres one the reason I'm, why i'm doing this i want to show this release yeah this release equals to grafana in the label section is responsible for sending all the matrices from postgres exporter to the grafana let me show you the uh, from here also port forward service and then this is the one right no 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 not this one postgres exporter service let me show you the end point for that matrices so that it becomes crystal clear okay this one this one then 80 80 80 80 perfect so this is the one which is actually exposing the matrices of your uh, data source postgres data source see postgres exporter is actually capturing all your matrices all your matrices from the the cluster and then sending it to grafana these are the matrices that will ship to the grafana perfect so i can see matrices here so hopefully it should come on grafana also now i'll come back here i'll go to the cloud section and i'll come on to prometheus matrices are there i'll just run this command to see whether uh, how many matrices are coming okay yeah matrices is there it's coming so i can simply see this So matrix will come like this you can see the the the, uh, the standing line or the, the graph pertaining to this now this is actually the third and the important step now uh, there's one more uh, you know uh the postgres basically uh dashboard exported dashboard given by uh, the grafana community you can come here 
and then you can simply install or add this dashboard to your uh, you know uh, track so you need to copy this id if you not watched my how to add dashboards and related to that you can just simply add that you know see that video come to this dashboard new import click this id load and then simply select this from ets this import now you can see uh, the data the data has automatically has been loaded so you can see the version you see you can see the connection has been used there are certain data that was coming yesterday i have not done any kind of fit on this today so yeah you can see the test db details here yeah so that is how you can actually monitor uh, your uh, data source now let me quickly summarize what we have done from the documentation then we can simply wrap it up because i don't want to take it long for this you know video so what we have done first of all uh, we have installed grafana which is not there by using the popular uh, q parameter track helm chart then we have installed separately this postgres database onto the cluster using bitnami helm chart once it's done i've created a dummy database and then loaded a dummy table and then finally created the structure and then loaded the table and then uh, finally uh, did this integration with grafana by adding a data source uh using the using the external ip called the zord balancer ip and then third step was installing the uh, prometheus postgres exporter which will actually export the matrices related to the database for monitoring okay so that will actually send the matrices and finally we added the dashboard so that is pretty much about it you know quickly there are three important different pieces into, into this so first of all is the separate installation then integration with grafana then finally installing another exporter for sending the matrix to grafana and then adding a dashboard uh, so that it becomes clear for monitoring and understanding perspective hopefully this was pretty short quick uh, you know understanding of how to install configure and monitor the postgres sql data source into your kubernetes cluster hope you like it if, if you have any more questions and you know queries pertaining to this video you can post into the comment section i will you know, happy to answer it so yeah and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel for similar kind of videos so this is my passion i'll keep on doing it okay thanks for now see you see you next time in the next video thank you bye bye